Uh, my name is, uh, I'll say it in Spanish pronunciation, Cesar Charlone, which you would know here as Cesar Charlone or something like that. Um, I'm, I'm uh, more known as a cinematographer. I, I was here with a film that did pretty well, uh, City of God. I'm the cinematographer of City of God that fortunately got an uh, Oscar nomination and pretty wide uh, uh, showing around. But I've been doing also directing in my career. I, I come from a school that mixes uh, uh, multitask. Uh, you know, everybody kind of does everything in the film. So um, I am a cinematographer, but I enjoy writing and, and directing also. So I directed this uh, with a colleague, Uruguayan colleague. We directed together the Pope's Toilet that is showing here in the festival. And uh, I'm very happy to be here. What country are you from? I am Uruguayan born, and uh, the film tells a Uruguayan story. But I live mostly in Brazil. Now I'm, I'm living kind of in both places. They're, they're close. I, Montevideo and Sao Paulo is two, two hours flight. So I'm, I'm trying to be more close to home. But I grew my I did my career in Brazil. And what is this movie uh, dealing with? The Pope's Toilet, Toilet is a, um, the, 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 the title suggests a comedy. Um, and it's funny because we were, when we were filming it every day after shoot, we would go back in the car saying, what did we do today, a comedy or a tragedy? Because it's, it's those things in South America that are comic, but ironically are tragic in the essence. Uh, it's the story, the Pope visited uh, a little city that is 60 kilometers from the border of Brazil. The Pope visited when, when this, uh, the, the old Pope, the, the, the one before. Uh, Pope Paul? Uh, yes. Pope Paul. Uh, Wojtyla. Mm -hmm. Karol Wojtyla. He, um, he visited um, this city, very small city, and nobody understood why he was going there. So his his uh, accessories, the, 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 the people that helped him suggested, I don't know why this city. But anyway, he's going there, and the people just go crazy because the Pope is going to visit this small little town in the border of Brazil. So instead of going very religious, because Uruguay is not a very religious country, I think maybe he was going that because of, there, of, of that. But the people said, saw an opportunity to make money and to leave the situation of misery that we were in because it spread around that loads and thousands of Brazilians would come that from the other frontier into to Uruguay, in, to, to, Uruguay to, to visit for the Pope because Brazil is just 100 kilometers from there. So they would come for that day and they would need to feed and so and so. So people went crazy and they really went uh, selling their stuff like people so little pieces of land that they have in order to buy. There's a guy that bought like 3,000 sausages and, and, and it's like a snowball that grows and grows and you know the suspect at the beginning was that they're going to have like 10,000 Brazilians. At the end people were talking, oh 200,000 Brazilians are going to come and people went crazy and there was 400 food stands and nobody came. And it was like a tragedy. It's funny but it's, it's <laughs> like a tragedy. So, we got this story that is real life, and we adapted. We not we adapt. We used it as a base, and we created Enrique, the the, the, the original writer of the story. Uh, Enrique uh, uh, write, wrote the story of this guy that's smarter than the rest, and he says, "Well, if there's going to be 400 food stands, people are going to have to use a toilet. So let me build a toilet for the tourists to use." And he doesn't have a toilet himself. He's a very poor guy. He, so he builds a toilet in the front of his house and expects the people to come. Well, that's the base of the story and many things happen. It's, and the, it's peop a fun the, peop the people didn't come and use no, it though. No, they probably thought it was they were going to be sacrilegious <laughs> or something, right? <laughs> I mean, to be sitting on the Pope, yeah, you know, like yeah, that, you know? Yeah. Oh my God, that yeah. is so funny. It is, it is. Oh. And it's, it's, it's a film that's done pretty well. We, we were, we, we opened, um, our, the, the first screening of the film was in the Cannes Film Festival in the, officials, in the official selection and we were very lucky to be chosen there. And since then, we've been invited to very nice and prestigious festivals. And I was very, very happy to have the honor of being invited with Michael Moore, that's a, a filmmaker and a citizen that I admire very much. Is this the first time to Traverse City? It, to Traverse City, it is, yes. And what, what's your... Uh, it's paradise. It's, it is. It is paradise. I, 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 you guys are so lucky. Well, I came here five years ago from California, and I call it the Northern Tropics. 
Yeah. The water is so, you know, aqua blue and yeah, tropical it's looking. It's beautiful. And, yeah. and the size, the size of things is so human, you know. You can have your nice house and there's a nice downtown to do your shopping and but it's not crowded, it's not polluted and it's paradise. So what what uh, project? Do you have a, a, a project yes, in yes, the making yes. right now? Yes, I'm, I'm working in two projects that one I'm writing with a friend. My friend is writing more than me. I'm helping him and I'm going to direct uh, beginning of next year. And then the other thing I'm working on is uh, in the 1970s we had these very uh, hard dictatorships in South America that committed uh, lots of uh, human rights uh, mm -hmm. crimes mm -hmm. and I fall in love with the story of a grandma that, that looks for her granddaughter that was kidnapped by the security forces with their parents obviously and uh, was given to to adoption to a military family. Do, do these films that you uh, that you create, do they wind up in American well, yes, uh, video yeah, stores? Yes, uh, I hope, yeah, the, 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 the Pope's Toilet has an American distributor mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know when they're releasing, what plans they have, but I hope uh, soon, yes. And these other ones, well, yeah, uh, let's see when they get ready, if, if they're decent and, and they, they get I'm going to be looking for your work. Okay. Caesar, thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. You thank bet. You. It was my pleasure. Enjoy.